Whenever we talk of universal health coverage, immediately what comes to mind is curative health, the services to reach the people, quality of services. However, preventive health and curative health is equally, if not more important than, than curative health. We have with us Dr. Mahal Adawi, who is the director of the Division of Health Protection and Promotion from the World Health Organization. Welcome, Dr. Mahal. Welcome. I just started off by saying that prevention is better than cure. Of course. And you're head yeah. of that department. Yes. If we are investing, and different mm. countries differ, of course, in their status. Mm. So if we're investing in some countries, where would we put the balance? Where would we tip the balance so that we would achieve universal health coverage? Okay. Well, that's uh, a difficult question, actually, not, not for me, but for, uh, for ministers of health and, uh, to decide. and policymakers, because they really don't know. And uh, everybody, when they think of health, they think of cure. So they actually don't think of health, they think of, think of disease. So people are, are sick and then they are, they're being treated. However, we know that we can present, prevent maybe 70% of all illnesses if we focus more on preventative Revenge. and on promotion, on health promotion. Uh, in the past, let's say 40 years ago, when we, uh, Al Ma'ata was declared, Exactly, the 40, big years, declaration, it's the birthday, exactly right? <laughs> 40 years ago, uh, everybody gave a lot of emphasis to promotion prevention. So it was going like this promotion, prevention, cu uh, curative, and rehabilitative care. Yes. However, now we, we are back into just curative and rehabilitative. And why did we forget promotion? Because you don't see, you don't actually see tangible results. It takes a long time. Uh, it take, not only takes a long time to change behaviors, but it only, also takes a long time to, uh, to have a cause effect. You don't see a cause effect. Yes. So you provide immunization. This is a preventative measure. You provide immunization and people don't get sick, but since it, they've been immunized, people don't really realize it, how much has been saved. It's only us when we do the calculations and we see how many people have been uh, vaccinated and they have been... And diseases uh, averted. You know, measles. Measles is a killing disease. We all of know course, that. polio. Uh, polio is, uh, is a hand causing a lot of disabilities and also it, uh, used to kill people. Tuberculosis. A TB, the same thing. So now with all these effects that are happening, which prevent actually disease, are saving a lot of lives. Not only that, if we go one step backwards to promotion, which comes even before that, we promote healthy life. If we promote breastfeeding, for example, to, okay. to uh, newborn, exclusive breastfeeding. If we promote healthy lifestyle, that people exercise, and I'm not saying exercise, go to the gym. Just walk. Well, just walk, just move, don't sit all day. Uh, In front you know, of the computers now. Uh, gadgets, exactly. This is what we're doing. We're watching television, we're, watching, we're playing on our iPads or computers, we're looking at our iPhones. We're not even moving to, uh, to go to the phone Absolute. like we used to do when we were young. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> Now, now things have changed a lot and we need to promote that. People who live healthier lives, they, uh, they also not only live longer, but they have better quality of life. Absolutely. So I'm not talking Absolutely. about how many years they live, I'm talking about how many years they live. Healthy. Quality life, healthy life, where they can move, where the legs can carry them and, and, and move around. So this kind of promotion and prevention are actually very much needed. We look at maternal health, at child health, the productive health, a lot of preventative measures that, that need, be done, to be, need to be done, need to be in place. To definitely. be in place. Ministries of Health, all our ministries of health used to and still have a, de a department for health promotion, but is it active? No. One of the things that we really want to do in order to prevent and reduce the burden of non-communicable diseases and communicable diseases and other forms we of diseases. We mustn't forget everything that is. We have to put everything into to start with the health promotion. I think this is uh, now uh, a must for all uh, ministries of health and all stakeholders who are actually working to improve the health of the society in order to reach universal health for all. And personally, Dr. Adawi, I'm with you wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. Prevention is really just as important, if not more important. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.